It's now or never. It seems that the Argentina national team is approaching the upcoming World Cup with almost the best chance of victory since its last triumph in 1986, when the legendary Diego Armando Maradona rocked in the squad. In this video, we'll present arguments why Leo Messi's swan song in the national team can become the highlight of his career. Let's go! We can finally say that the Argentina national team has an excellent selection of performers for each position. For the past 15 years, the team couldn't boast of anything like that and most likely. This is what didn't allow Messi and company to conquer the world podium. So let's confirm what we have just said. L'Albi Celeste coach Lionel Scaloni used a 4-4-2 formation in all matches over the past six months. Most likely Scaloni chooses a 4-4-2 formation when both Lautaro Martinez and Leo Messi are available to play at the same time. When only one of them is available, the formation becomes more of a 4-3-3 with either Messi or Martinez leading the attack. In any case, more often than not the selection of performers allows the coach to change from one formation to another during the match without using substitutions, so it's not of key importance. Using the example of the 4-4-2 formation will show how well-staffed the team is for the World Cup and what a great selection the coach has before the tournament. Undoubtedly, the team's main goalkeeper is Emiliano Martinez. The Aston Villa keeper booked the spot immediately following his transfer to the Birmingham club from Arsenal two years ago. His backups are Hirano Maruli of Villarreal and Franco Armani of River Plate. Antalanta's Juan Musso and PSB's Walter Benitez are also worth mentioning, although Scaloni is unlikely to call them up in the first three are fit. The coach's favorite for the right-back position is Noel Molina, who moved to Atletico Madrid from Udinese last summer. However, he has considerable competition. Juan Foyth from Villarreal and Gonzalo Montiel from Sevilla are breathing down his neck. Perhaps the main breakthrough since the last World Cup is that Argentina have a generation of really good central defenders. At the previous two World Cups, few people took Lyle Di Celeste seriously precisely because of the weakness of the defense, particularly its center. Remember the last World Cup, even such characters as Federico Fazio and Ramiro Funes Mori were part of the national team. Currently, the center of the Argentine defense is cemented by Lisandro Martinez from Manchester United and Christian Romero from Tottenham. Sounds very solid, wouldn't you agree? Experienced veterans Nicolas Otamendi from Benfica and Herman Bezzella from Fiorentina are always ready to replace them. Among others, we'd single out another Fiorentina center back with experience of playing for the national team, Lucas Quarta, and young talent Facundo Medina from Lens. Although Marcos Sanesi from Bournemouth and Neuyen Perez from Udinese also have a chance to go to the World Cup. There is a fierce competition for the left-back position between two players, Nicolas Taliafico of Leon and Marcos Acuna of Sevilla. Recently, the Leon representative has been on the field a little more often, but in fact there's a constant rotation between them. Let's be honest, if these two are fit, no other left defenders will go to Qatar. For the past two years, Scaloni has never called up anyone other than Taliafico and Acuna to this position. As an option, we'll give the third spot to the young representative of Vélez Sassi. Field, Francisco Orteza. Let's move on to the midfielders. In a 4-4-2 formation, Villarreal's Giovanni Lo Celso and Juventus winger Angel Di Maria have the best chances to be the main fullbacks. Scaloni is also counting on Papu Gomez from Sevilla and Angel Correa from Atletico. If he has time to get in shape, Nico Gonzalez from Fiorentina will also go to the World Cup. Young Thiago Almada, who represents Atalanta from MLS, also has a chance. Other candidates include Emiliano Buendia, Eric Lamela and Lucas Ocampos. Lionel Scaloni also has a good selection in the center of the midfield. Atletico's Rodrigo De Paul and Juve's Leandro Paredes are the most obvious contenders for the starting lineup. But Alexis McAllister from Brighton and Guido Rodriguez from Betis can impose serious competition on them. Young sensation Enzo Fernandez from Benfica and promising Ezequiel Palacios from German Bayern have every chance to go to the tournament. 
Everything is stable and predictable in the attack. The main pair of forwards will be Lautaro Martinez from Inter and Leo Messi from the Star PSG. Their closest backups are likely to be Man City striker Julian Alvarez and Roma newcomer Paolo Dybala. It's unlikely that Scaloni will take any third center forward, apart from Martinez and Alvarez, but as an option, will give the spot to Giovanni Simeone from Napoli. Inter's Joaquin Correa will most likely be an alternative to Messi and Dybala. Well, this lineup looks really interesting and competitive. Tell us in the comments if we unfairly didn't include a player in the list of contenders for a trip to the World Cup. Leo Messi is a factor on its own why La Albiceleste have a chance to win. At 35, the Argentinian superstar is in incredible shape. This season, Lionel has 6 goals and 8 assists in 11 matches for PSG. He confirmed his excellent form in the last matches for the national team, scoring 2 goals each against Honduras and Jamaica. To Messi's excellent form, let's add his crazy motivation to bring such a desired World Cup to his homeland. This is the only trophy that he hasn't yet won, and this is exactly the trophy that is the most desired in his career. Let's be honest, the first half of the season at PSG for Leo is preparation for the World Cup in Qatar. When he signed the contract with the Parisians, according to some rumors, the agreement contained special clauses regarding the priority of the national team for the player. Even then, Messi was thinking about the tournament, which once again emphasizes his motivation. Finally, the Argentina national team has a coach who understands how to manage this team. For Lionel Scaloni, experience in the main team is his first in the head coach role. The 44-year-old specialist led Argentina in 2018, having worked in the staff of previous coach Jorge Sampaoli until that year. It was under Scaloni that the Argentina national team won the first Copa America since 1993, so why not win the first World Cup since 1986? In fact, Scaloni's main success is that he combined the ability to get along with numerous stars of the team and good technical training. As for the tactics, everything is quite simple. The coach does everything to reveal the genius of Lionel Messi as much as possible. According to some reports, Messi told the coach that he is most comfortable playing in a 4-4-2 formation, where he would be the second striker with a free role. Actually, this was the formation in which Messi and Suarez excelled in Ernesto Valverde's Barcelona. He always wants to play and as long as I'm the national team coach, he will always play. There is no doubt about that. If nothing happens, he will always be on the pitch and perform. Scaloni said about Messi in a recent interview, everything in genius is simple. Scaloni did everything as the leader wanted and got an incredible result, which is measured not only by the Copa America win. Currently, the Argentina national team has a streak of 35 games without defeat. The side has not lost since 2018 and can break the record of the Italian national team, which is 37 matches. For this, L'Albi Celeste must go unbeaten in the World Cup group stage matches against Saudi Arabia, Mexico and Poland, a task that seems quite doable. And what do you think of this fact? Lionel Scaloni and Lionel Messi, in addition to being namesakes, went to 2006 World Cup together as players. And they even spent about 30 minutes on the pitch together in the round of 16, winning a match against Mexico. For Scaloni, that match was the only one in which he appeared on the field. What do you think, guys? Can Argentina win the World Cup and will Lionel Messi be able to fulfill his most cherished dream? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below and like this video if you enjoyed it. By the way, we're ready to make similar videos about other favorites of the World Cup if you were interested. Stay safe and we'll see you very soon.